one, Son of Beast, and Test Tube Pierre. Welcome to tonight's game of the NBA Playoffs. This time, we're about to be getting back to the Eastern Conference as this next matchup. We've got a great matchup between the rivals in the Eastern Conference of the Playoffs. That means Joel Embiid is back, but he's ready to do his thing again to face against Jason Tatum of the Sixers versus the Celtics for the first round. Since we've seen them last season here in the postseason, if you guys remember it, this was no joke at all. Boston Celtics have gotten a great stoppage to go over to Philadelphia Sixers. There was no way that no one had ever knew that turned to be like that before. Well, as you may have already just understand that one, this can be a little hard in this instant, but we may not be seeing who is going to take the next one. I don't think Zach Eddy will be able to draft in for the Boston Celtics, but the second round, he might be picking for a new team instead of this. While the contract was out there, we're not sure if this will happen here for the Boston Celtics because at that point, it might be a change-off that nobody may not know after Zach Eddy with the championship win in the Final Four, beating against the NC State. But it may be a hard thing, but we may never know what will the next season be. Let's have a look at your starting lineups as the next one I will have is Brian Anderson along with the 2K Sports crew here at Boston and Alio Force is on the sideline. On the start we have is Kyle Lowry, Tyrese Maxey, Kelly Oubre Jr., Tobias Harris, and Joel Embiid. On the other side we have is Drew Holiday, Derek White, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and KP, Chris Tapp, Porzingis. Let's get you down to TD Garden Arena where we start the tonight's matchup of the game. And later on the next on the other side will be at Mile High at 9.30 p.m. Nuggets and Warriors. We'll see you guys back later for the post game show. Let's get going. And now let's meet your visiting team of the 76ers. At point four, Kyle Lowry. At four forward, Kelly Oubre Jr. At the forward position, Tobias Harris. At the other forward, Tyrese Maxey. And in center guard position, Joel Embiid. The head coach for the Philadelphia Sixers, Nick Nurse. And now, let's meet your starting lineups for your Boston Celtics. At the point guard position, big six for one. Number four, Drew Holiday. At guard, 6'4, number nine, Darren White. At center, 672, number eight, Christoph Paul. At the position, at six picks, number seven, Jalen Brown. At four, number zero, Jason Tatum. Your head coach for the Boston Celtics, Joe Mazzula. Throw around the pause for your Boston Celtics. Hey everybody, we're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. We'll watch the Boston Celtics in this one as they go up against the Philadelphia 76ers. Alongside Richard Jefferson and Grand Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. We'll be joined by Allie LaForce Courtside. A look at the 76ers starting group. Harrison and Bede are in the middle. 
Kyle Lowry out there with Tyrese Maxey. And this is Gray in at the three. And for the Celtics, White and Brown with the two and the three. Jason Tatum out there with Kristaps Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the one. Well, we got an old-fashioned matchup on our hands tonight, Grant. Two teams who deploy impactful victory. Yeah, B.A., and in a league where perimeter play so often is the deciding factor, tonight I expect this to be a slugfest inside. Lowry against Holiday. Pass to Harris. Puts up a three. The rebound, Celtics. And here's Brown. White on the wing. The three. Oh. Derek White for three. From out there. And so it's Maxi who brings up the ball for Philadelphia. It's a three-point game. Harris drives in. Goes up. Tobias Harris. Easy. Driving in hard. Harris beats them with a little bit of speed and a little bit of intensity right there. Pass to White. It's Brown on the wing. He's covered by Ubre. Holiday looking for an opening. Here's Tatum. And the Jason Tatum! Play. Philadelphia foul, number 12, Tobias Harris, as his first personal foul, first team foul. The line for the Celtics, Jason Tatum, shooting one. He gives you everything you want and need in that wing position. One shot. Lots of winning going on in Philadelphia. Six straight playoff appearances, Richard. Yeah, they're the masters of the mid. Their game, that's just the way it is. No finals appearances. And look, that's got to be top of mind. East is tough, but they've got the talent to go far, but they just keep having mid seasons. Holiday with the ball. He picked up 10 in his last game. There's the three. And And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. Just enough resistance to force them as barely. That's one he'll generally make. Holiday finds Tatum. Up and over Lowry. Jason Tatum! Okay. Drew Holiday. Strike from anywhere. The mid range is an open option for him at all times. MB passes to Ubre. Stop the run. Blocked. And they're able to recover. MB can't hit. Gotta applaud the defensive effort. It's not easy to stop him getting in the lane like that. Outside Holiday. Back to Porzingis. Here's Tatum. Jason Tatum. Tatum's got 10 points in the game. Building a big advantage early with a timeout. Philadelphia Sixers. Such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. Timeout call. The 76ers. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. On the wrong side of a scoring run here, we might see a lineup change. I'll, I'll be pretty curious. Check out which teams have been offensive juggernauts the past 10 games. Boston, third. This team has been on an absolute tear offensively. It seems like they're able to find a shot every trip down. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Maxi. And he got the Boston foul. So he's number seven. Chris Porzingis. His first personal foul. First team foul. Challenging the Shooting for Philadelphia. Tyrese Maxey. Had a steam, Richard. Got a line for a two. So electric. You never know what he's going to bring. Oh, B.A., he loves to get out in transition and run. Speed is his greatest asset and what speed kills. And he definitely uses that to his advantage.
free throws good from Maxi. A natural scorer who plays with a lot of energy. Maxi, he's going to have a long career. He's perfect from the line this time. And talk about consistency, RJ. Boston has made the Eastern Conference Finals five out of the last seven years. Yeah, that's pretty phenomenal, especially since some of their best players are still developing. I know a guy that thinks that they haven't been very good for a very long time. But I know what Celtics fans want. They want to win. But they should still feel very proud of what this young team has accomplished. Pass to Harris. And that was Tobias Harris. Harris. Two for three. This is from Tyrese Maxey. Standing and finding uncovered teammates. Outside White. Pass to Harris. Yeah, that was Tobias Harris. Two for three. to make the next pass. Pass to Harris. Lowry outside. And here's Oubre from the arc. That's good. Billy Oubre Jr. for a tight three. Leading point guard, Kyle Lowry making the right choice there. White on the wing. Outside, Brown. Outside, Tatum. From deep. And for three! So far. Could be a big night in school. No, Jalen Brown. Maxie on the wing. From behind the arc. Offensive rebound. Outside, Oubre. Oh, from deep. Sends it. Kelly Oubre, Jr. For three. Oubre's got six. The Celtics have got seven of eight in the basket. Holiday passes to Porzingis. On the wing, Tatum, pounded by Harris. Here's White. Philadelphia grabs the miss. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. To the middle. Here's Oubre. The second effort. And Porzingis with the block. Gotta be careful shooting around Porzingis. He's not seen. capable of erasing shots. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. Now here's Tatum. 17 points in his last hour. Outside, Brown. Outside, White. Clock at six. Here's Holiday. The rebound by a bead. The Sixers trailing. Look loose. White with the steal. Right side, Holiday. True Holiday! Night out. For Chris Abbs, for Zingas. this effort, he wears out an opponent at both ends. Lowry, the pass to Embiid. Comes up empty, down low. And Tatum's got the ball here for Boston. Two minutes remaining in the first period. The Two game. minutes. Around 12 and a half per game. White finds Holiday. Brown puts it up from 17. Jalen Brown! <laughs> Their offense looking like a well oiled machine. Pass to Oubre. Harris on the wing. Come on! Tobias Harris for three. Seven points in the game. Austin Timeout. Timeout. Celtics. The last time these two teams came together was also in this building, and they were able to win it for the home fans. They came away with an easy win last time part to their work on the glass. And if they can keep that same physicality, you have to think they'll be in a good position to grab another win here.
substitutional for the Boston Celtics, number 42, Al Horford, number 11, Peyton Pritchard, and number 26, Don Tobin Sr. Sixers will have a different look here. Reed's checked in for Embiid. Batum comes in for Harris. Heels checked in for Oubre. And Payne is subbed in for Lowry. And he's going Six to foul. Number 40, Nicholas Batum. As his first personal foul, the second team foul. Great job reinventing himself. Line for the Celtics. Uh, Horford. On the line for two. But changing how he plays, he still can be an X Factor on any given night. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. If you want to talk about a high-value veteran, Al Horford is your guy. I mean, he's been around the block and has a ton of wisdom to share with younger guys. Horford hits them both. Well, Boston's been a franchise that has sustained winning, Richard. Yeah, B.A., look, they've had down years like Andy Martin, but they don't have down decades. And the Celtics, they replenish as fast as any team outside of maybe their rival Lakers. Now here's Maxi. Here's Reed. And that one is Ball Reed. right through. This, this throws to Tyrese Maxi. Like setting up other guys. Pass to Brown. There's 48 seconds left to play in the first. Jalen Brown! And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. Outside Payne. Here's Maxi. Going inside. Tyrese Maxi. Turning on the Jets. Maxi found the lane and made them pay. Here's Pritchard. Yet to see a basket. to Brown. Inside, Horford. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. They come into this one having outplayed the Grizzlies last time. Oh my, talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them. They were able to focus and finish the task at hand. And the this goes to Tony Smaxi. A lot comes down to coaching. That's the end of the first quarter. Boston Celtics, 26. Philadelphia Sixers, 23. Points leading the charge. We'll be right back after this word. Man, it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And for the Celtics here, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Well, their offense is clicking so far, capturing the momentum here early on. Credit the game plan coming in. They've identified some weaknesses, and they are exploiting them. Here's Brown. Take a look at the 76ers. Paul Reed is out there with Nicholas Batum. Then there's Kenya Martin. Then it's Buddy Heel. And it's Payne in at the point. Outside, Brown. Back to Pritchard. Over Payne. Pritchard, no good. Philadelphia has gone three of six from deep so far. Brown against Heel. The steal. Here we go. All alone. And let's sit oh. TNT 5G slam cam. Couldn't have captured that play. Hey, pass to Reed. It's deflected, and they'll get another chance. The three pointer off the mark. The Celtics with the lead. Pass to Pritchard. To the paint. Tillman passes to Brown. 
And winning a championship in 2016. Talk about what it was like to play alongside LeBron. I'm gonna be really honest. Now, Buffer! From Jalen Brown. With Tim Duncan and seeing how he dominates on the defensive end. And it's just a steady force on the offensive end. For me, LeBron James was the one player that combined every great skill of every great player that I'd ever played with. Warford finds Brown. Intercepted! Here's Martin. It's good. Only a few yes, seconds Martin, the shot clock. Junior. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Two minutes gone so far. Brown against Heel. Just five to shoot. Play clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. He's pressured. Rebounded by Payne. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Pass to Reed. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Back to Payne. The rebound, Celtics. They've led by as many as 11. Following this one, they host the Trailblazers. And that game will conclude a four-game homestand for them. Launches a three. The offensive rebound. And here's Brown for three. J.B. Timeout, Philadelphia 6 0. wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. I'm sure all of the above is in order, and you can never be too content. Well, that one's trying to be okay. Well, it seems like it's going to be for now. We'll get to right Nagel for the next game. Never timeout, never do change. All settled in, good to go. Back to you, Brian. So Boston going with all Your substitution will change. Here stops Porzingis. He's checked in for Tillman. Number Tatum four. Comes in for Hauser. Drew Holiday. He's checked in for Brown. Number way. Holiday nine. Derek White. Yeah, a new group getting ready for the Number season. zero, Jason Tatum. Yeah, and number eight, Chris F. Porzingis. Oubre. Kelly Oubre Jr. And it's Kyle Lowry in for pain. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Pass to Horford. Back to Holiday. Tatum way outside. It's hauled in by the Sixers. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, and Joel Embiid is a rarity in many ways, including how effective he is inside the NBA. We don't see that as much as we used to. Big men dominating down low, but Embiid is an exception. A center with a deadly mix of dominance down low and skill work outside. Here's Holiday. Drew Holiday! agility makes him tough to contain. He just needs a little space to go to work. He'll pass it to Embiid. Puts one up from 19. Kept alive for three. Tries it again and denied. He sends it right off the glass. Pass to Tatum. Back to Porzingis. Here's Tatum. Jason Tatum! All the way in for the four, and he's the number one reason why they're winning right now. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed, a rush stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. And stolen by Holiday! Derek White! From Drew Holiday. He's got five assists in the game. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Celtics. From the very start of this game, they have been giving the ball handlers trouble, using good pressure to force turnovers and get steals. And you know, they've also protected the paint at a high level, sending those shots back to the center. Chris and Porzingis! 
their performance today. And Drew Holiday. Sharing the ball and creating good shots. To the inside, Harris. Tobias Harris. He says goes to Carl Lowry. Pass to Tatum. Back to Holiday. And here's White. Six on the shot clock. Back to Holiday. Down low. Oh! Um, Drew Holiday. Time called here. Timeout. Philadelphia 76ers. Look at the standings for teams that are on the cusp. The playoffs have already begun, Richard. Absolutely. Only two minutes remaining in a first half. Two minutes. You're going to have to be under a lot of stress late, and that's what's going on. The playing system, though, has created so much more opportunity. So it looks like it's been turning out there great. Yeah, I definitely know that. It looks like the Boston Celtics are in bleed green in the playoff game. As we're head heading in right now to the end of the first half. Coming up, we have a halftime report. As we have is Ernie Johnson, Kenny Jet Smith, and Shag O'Neal ready to check what they've got for the first half of the game. They're really ready to take things on. And this one is for a little bit. Yeah, I definitely know. I mean, pretty up to say for the least, but. Let's find out if it comes in there. For our destiny to find who goes in for the next part of the game. The NBA playoffs in 2K Sports is brought to you by American Airlines Express. American Express. Don't let life about it. Starry Lines. And by Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. The 76ers making a switch here. Maxi's checked in. And here we can check out the story for Christoph Porzingis. Left in the first half. Oh, got that. Tyrese Maxi for three. Maxi's got nine. Now that's confidence right there. This is when you know Maxi is feeling it. Here's Porzingis. And so he draws the foul. Philadelphia foul. Number 21, Joel Embiid. His first personal foul. 13 foul. And a line for the Celtics. Chris Porzingis. At line for two. Shoot two. And the first one at the line is good. Standing at seven three. We have never seen a player quite like Kristaps Porzingis. A fantastic shooter, a solid ball handler. What a talent. Both free throws good from Porzingis. Some big guys struggle at the line, not him. He's put in the work to defy that assumption. Maxi passes to Oubre. A minute 29 left in the first half. Lowry, no good. Man, that's his shot. But maybe he was too wide open. Holiday passes to Horford. That one, no good. Hit B with a nice defensive effort. Here's Oubre. The rebound, Celtics. Tatum's got six rebounds in the game. Lowry against Holiday. 55 seconds left in the first half. Let's it fly. Jason Tatum! Four points now in the quarter. I love seeing Tatum exhibit the passion that he has shown us tonight. Such a motivated performance by him. Awesome. Uh, this half, of course, he gets. 
the second personal foul. First team foul. Substitution for the Boston Celtics. He's checked in for Boston. Number seven, Jalen Brown. 43 seconds left in the half. Pass to Lowry. Takes a three. That one goes. Kyle Lowry. One for two. For three. Back to back threes. Making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. Holiday against Lowry. Now here's Brown. Tatum inside. Back to Brown. Now Holiday. He's guarded by Lowry. Shot clock at five. Pass to Brown. Over Harris. And it's going to be out. Celtics ball. Substitutional on the court. First, Boston Celtics. And Boston has possession. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Tatum feeling it out a bit. He got it up in time. That's the end of the first half of the period. Boston Celtics, 47. And Philadelphia Sixers, 35. Large part because of how well they're shooting it. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Boy, what a crowd joining us here for our halftime report. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel Shapiro here. There was no stopping Jason Tatum in the first half. He ended up with 17 points, 6 rebounds, and 1 assist. And let's get your thoughts, big fella, on the Celtics. They're running the offense beautifully for this one. Look at the good looks and confidence looks sky high. So I'm pretty hard for that defense to disrupt their foot. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Philadelphia? Well, it's never been. You play next to the that's on fire. This team was on fire. They showed effort on defense, but it didn't matter. They couldn't get the stops. I don't think the opponent can sustain this kind of thing. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. And you know, Jason Tatum, he's been really making it happen, guys. And in the first half, he dominated in the post. He got the looks he wanted and was able to execute. The question now is, will the defense keep letting him punish them inside? Or did Coach have some new ideas for them? And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. White and Brown with the two of the three. Kristaps Porzingis out there with Jason Tatum, and it's Holiday in at the point guard position. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Jason Tatum! From Drew Holiday. Brown is able to find the best guy for the right shot. Embiid from outside. Tatum pulls it in. Oh man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. Yeah, right now, he's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through it. Brown passes to Tatum. Shot clock at six. White for three. Gets Derek White for three! three. Jason Tatum. The team's focus and then finds the open man. Lowry finds Harris to the middle. Here's a bead. Ooh, look at well him. Beat. Converting it close. He's this guy. Tobias Harris. And so it's Holiday who brings up the ball for Boston. The lead is 15. Pass to Brown. Now Tatum. Back to Brown. Here's Holiday. Good. Drew Holiday. Six points for him. Something lit a fire under them at the half. They started this quarter going three for three from the floor. Here's Embiid. The ball's not 
knock loose. White with the steal. And here we go. The Celtics on the run. Garrett White. He was way Time out. Philadelphia Sixers. He can do anything he wants in that situation. And those might be the easiest points of the run for him. And the 76ers call time here. You know, when Derek White came into the league, he ran the point. Richard, things have changed since then. The NBA, since transitioning into more of a scoring role as a guard, White has not disappointed, taking more shots and seeing those scoring averages go up. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers. The moment that inspires. American Express. Don't live life without it. And by Adidas. It's never too late. If you ever watch a game here, you can download the app here on the NBA app by using on your smartphone, tablet, or online on a computer here for any of our devices right on the go. Or watch it anytime here from any location by downloading the app today. Look now at how the point totals have looked over the last few months for Kelly Oubre. He's been on a tear offensively these past few months, and you know how much they love the extra points he provides. He's been shouldering a bigger load recently, and I think he's just getting started. White's gone five of six in field goal attempts tonight. into the second half of play now. Maxi. Darius Maxi for a three. Distance. Maxi with great confidence. The Celtics have gone four to four in this third quarter. Perfect so far. Oubre against Brown. Here's Holiday. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got his sixth rebound on the night. Goes up. Harris misses. Austin's gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Maxi against Brown. Pass to Holiday. Back to Brown. Beyond the arc. Jalen Brown for three. Zero hesitation for Brown. This man is always ready to fire. Maxi passes to Embiid. Here's Harris. Six. Tobias Harris. Is this from Will and B? Well, I guess we can give him credit for not getting discouraged. They're still playing hard. He's doing his job out there. Pass to White. Left side, Tatum. Outside, Brown. Tatum. Jason Tatum! From Jalen Brown. He's me six foot eight. Look, look, he's going to score inside if he gets that close. And here's Zubre. For three, Maxi. Second chance shot. And Porzingis with the block. No matter what he's trying, it has his work. Unfortunately, the team is suffering from that. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Well, Jalen Brown has shown steady development over his career. He said, quote, every year presents different challenges. I think that's the fun part about basketball, that it's not the same. you got to be Jason Tatum! Brian? Allie, he keeps getting better and better. Thanks for that. Good stuff. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. They get it again. Here's Harris. Nails the Tobias ball. Harris. Harris has gotten four this quarter. Look at Harris's dedication, chasing down the boards and ending the possession on his terms. Four seconds passes to Holiday. Now here's Brown. He's covered by Ubre. Pass to Tatum. Over Harris. And Jason Tatum. Twenty-five from Jalen Brown. Side. And here's Lowry from the arc. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has spent five rebounds tonight. Brown 
Brown with it. Pass to Tatum. Shoots over Embiid. Tatum with another miss. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they wanted to take that again. Yeah, it's a great look for him. Well, I'm gonna try and manufacture Kelly Oubre Jr. Jr. Love to get the ball this Timeout. Way. Celtics. Almost just not miss. And Boston calls time here. Here they come. It's the as we're ready to get this thing on, we've got you and everyone covered in between as we got tomorrow night's game, as we've got another game in the matchup, as the Orlando Magic take on against the Knicks here at Amway Center, now known as the Kia Center. This will be the next part of it for tonight's matchup here at 7 p.m. The next one for afternoon game, it will be the Cavaliers facing against the Pacers. As they've already lost the first game and then the next part of the game in game two will be all you call for is the LA Clippers at home in Los Angeles to face against the Mavericks as it will be happening here at, at 5.30 p.m. later in the afternoon. It may not be everybody what you're looking for, but if you all know for once, you'll find another one. And then, and then for later tomorrow night, as we will have another one coming in, you'll be seeing the next part of it in the group, as that will be the Celtics, nope, the Nuggets versus the Warriors here in game three. the second game in my own So that will be every day on Summer Feet. Now go to Brian. Horford comes in for Jason Tatum. Hauser, he's checked in for Brown. And Pritchard is subbed in for Holiday. Pass to Pritchard. Back to White. Horford finds White. And the call will be against Derek White. Celtics foul. That's his first foul. Number nine, Derek White. His, his first personal foul. He thought he could slip through the cracks and grab the rebound. And this is why we say block out. It is a fundamental thing that is often overlooked and hurts you every time. Here's Reed. Back to Maxi. Oh, a clear foul. Celtics foul. Number 26, Xavier Tillman Sr. His first personal foul, first team foul. At the line for the 76ers, Tyrese Maxi taking two shots. So well, guys, quick passes, letting the next guy do the work if you don't have a look. Yeah, the other thing they're doing is absolutely scorching the net. Red hot from outside all game long. Free throw is good. Well, Richard, the league now requires 65 games played to qualify for postseason awards. You see that curbing load management at all? I hope so, BA. I'm not a big fan of load management. I think if you're healthy, you should try and play. You should build up your strength to run a marathon. I think if teams are prioritizing postseason success, that's fine. But look, players are going to want to get those all NBA awards because that helps with your contract. The Celtics have gone 8 of 10 in the third and looking in control. Outside White. Horford against Batum. Austin again missing. The 76ers have gone 5 of 11 in his third. Two quarter. minutes remaining in the third quarter. Two minutes. Uses the glass. Maxi. Maxie. Maxie's got 16 points now. How about the agility of Maxi there, just working around the defense? Pass to Tillman. Back to White. A minute 37 left in the third. Here's Pritchard. Six to shoot. Here's Tillman. Austin again missing. For Philadelphia, they've gotten six of their first 12 shots to drop in this third. Here's Maxi. Rebounded by the Celtics. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Over to the wing. Outside White. Back to Pritchard. Payton hey, Pritchard! Lead by 17. 59 seconds left in the third quarter here. 
Now here's Maxi. He's got 16. Nails All him from three. beyond the arc. Ready here. He's got five. This is five. And down in the corner. Sorry, he's Maxi. He's so comfortable. I mean, that's a shot he knows he can make. And here's White. Horford finds White. Back to Horford. White with it. Guarded by Heel. Pocket four. The shot. Hold the shot. Derek White! White's got seven points for the quarter. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Boston has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Here's Tillman. No point so far. White on the wing. Here's Horford. Oh, oh Horford! That's the end of the third. Quarter. Celtics 74 and 76ers 53. Feeling confident. 18 point lead to win that quarter. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. So Lowry will bring it up for the 76ers. They trail by 18. Taking a look at the 76ers. Kelly Oubre out there with Nicholas Batum. Then it's Kyle Lowry. Ready to heal for a three. Heel in at the shooting guard. This is why Joel Embiid. is the shortest three by distance. So for someone like Hill, that is easy money. Four seconds. Passes to Holiday. And here's Tatum. Guarded by Batum. And it's Tatum missing. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. Excellent D. Avoided fouling and got in perfect precision to alter that shot. Here's Oubre. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got six rebounds in the game. Holiday finds Porzingis. Kick out to Brown. Batum against Tatum. Puts it up from 12. Jason! Tatum! Oh, Jalen Brown. Healed on the wing. Chance it. Buddy Healed. Healed's got five points now this quarter. Healed showing his quick release. Left side, Porzingis. To the paint. Here's Tatum. Jason Tatum! From Chris Stapp, Porzingis. against Lowry. Pass to Embiid. Wide open. Oubre. Porzingis grabs the board. Austin has gotten six of ten three-pointers to drop. Outside, Brown. Outside, Tatum. Shot clock at six. Jason! Strong position coming down the stretch, and he is a big reason why. And Drew Austin Austin foul. Has the whistle that time. Drew Holiday. That's his first, That's his first personal foul. He's checked first team foul. Seventy six years of position. Number one, Mark A. Jr. Mark A. Jr. On the wing. Back to Lowry. Fires for three. Knocks down the ball. Martin Jr. They've been pretty last for three. The perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three pointers. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Outside, Brown. Pass to Tatum. Back to Brown. Six on the shot clock. JB for three! Uh, Jason Tatum. Now here's the break. Boston foul number eight. Chris Tapp Porzingis. And the second personal foul. Second team foul. 
shooting for Philadelphia. Kelly Oubre Jr. Taking two shots. Tends to fall so far in the fourth. Lowry against Holiday. Outside, Brown. Tatum with it. And he gets it. What muscle on that finish. It's hard trying to prevent Tatum from converting. Pass to Martin. Here's Oubre from the arc. He drops Ellie Oubre, 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 That gives him nine total points from beyond the arc so far. Outside, Porzingis. Back to Holiday. Drew Holiday. We've seen that one. First half, Porzingis. Effortless basket inside. Who bumped away. He's got a clear path. Here's White. There. has gone three for three from downtown in this fourth quarter. Throws it up high. Take it with a steal. Derrick White. Oh, what a slam. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. We know mistakes lead to breaks. That's just textbook right there. Austin's gone 7 of 11 from outside the arc. Nice percentage from distance so far. Pass to Brown. And in terms of the league as a whole, there have been some of the highest scoring seasons in history. Jason Tito! Teams are playing Jalen Brown. Faster, faster than ever. It also seems like defense might be turning into a lost art. So, Kyle Lowry for three. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Now Holiday, outside, Brown. Pass to Porzingis. On the wing, Holiday. Just four to shoot. There's White. Derrick White! White's got 13 in the side. Timeout. Philadelphia Sixers. And the 76ers call time here. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful about that. You can't be happy with that soft interior D. Well, I bet they're now. It looks like Boston Celtics have been one of the best teams, don't they? Yeah, they definitely do. I mean, you always got to know that. Every day, it just got to be one-time motion. You're always a Longhorn fan. If you're a Celtics fan, you know that your team definitely has it all. You're having a great time here. That's what all it does turn out to be the best of everyone. So as of right now, we got the next game coming in here underway for, as we got, the Nuggets and the Warriors at Mile High. That will be the first game, game one here at Mile High before they head back and do it again for tomorrow night in Game 2. And then after that one, we go right back to NHL, which we'll be seeing them up there in a moment. If you have already recatched it already, check out what the game is coming. You'll see what goes next. Now it's time to, for your New Balance player of the game to be selected for Game 1. Who do you have, Brian? performances I've ever seen. 
What's incredible is he has no off switch. It's just a tremendous motor, and he's making an impact on every single possession. And look at him. You think it's just another game. He is totally in control of his emotions. Well, they are playoff bound with him rounding into form and playing some of his best basketball. They just got to continue to play together. We'll see if he's able to keep playing at this level. Lowry surveys the D. Here's Harris. And the officials. Elias Harris. Will award the basketball. Goal attending on Grissa Porzingis. Come to bucket for Philadelphia. I am so glad that they implemented that. The transition game is one of the most entertaining aspects of the game. Not many people are going to complain about a rule that encourages a tempo basketball. Pass to Brown. Here's Porzingis. In beat covers. Out to Horford. And here's White. Outside, Brown, over Oubre, and Jalen Brown! Brown's got five oh, Derek points in the quarter. And so it's Embiid who brings up the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. Oubre against Two Hyde. minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Oubre. Two minutes. Boston has gone 7 of 11 from outside the arc. Nice percentage from distance so far. Oubre against Brown. Right side, Porzingis. Back to Brown. To the wing, right side. Fires it from 18. Chris Porzingis! From Jalen Brown. He can beat you outside. Porzingis is truly the prototypical stretch big. Pass to Lowry. Fires the three. Kyle Lowry for three. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Celtics. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. No surprise, another victory for these guys who have been on a tear all year long. They've now won 62 games. Derek White! We've seen Derek here Drew Holiday. One thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Jason Tatum. And he's been a well-oiled machine on offense, keeping things simple on this end, getting the looks that he wanted, knocking him down. And here's Lowry from the arc. Kyle Lowry, 4-3. Unfortunately for them, they're still going to come up short. You wish they showed this kind of fight earlier. Too little, too late. That final score will look way closer than how this game actually played out. White finds Brown. Here's Porzingis. Chris Porzingis. That's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and single game, saving their best basketball for the end. Oh, Offensive foul on the Sixers. Kelly Oubre Jr. That's his first, foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Absorbing the contact. Final substitution for the Celtics and the Sixers. They can simply hold on to the ball here. No question, B.A. They deserve the win. Now here's Brown. And that's the game. Your final score in tonight's uh, game, Boston Celtics 100 and Philadelphia 76ers 77. The crowd was involved from the jump, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. All right, let's go courtside to Ali LaForce with our player of the game. Ali, it's all yours. Thanks, Jason. This team is on a roll. Plenty of energy on the sidelines. How much fun are you having out there? Uh, winning is fun. Uh, you know, hopefully we can keep it up, especially at home. Uh, you know, we don't want to let our fans down. We got the best fans in the league. They give us all the energy in the world. So, uh, you know, we appreciate it. Doing it for the fans. Thanks, Jason. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that about wraps it up. This is Brian Anderson saying thank you for tuning in. We'll see you later.
All right, Brian, thank you so much. What a start one to put Boston Celtics on a leading scoring drive. They have been over the 76ers since they've been playing in the second round. But now it's time they finally have dug it their way with the first win of the night. Yeah, totally the same. I mean, what do they want to say for now? I mean, got a great game for this one. I mean, this is like a, a great worthy credit to go with that one. They've done really well. Great best out of it. I mean, give some appreciation to them. They've really done the best as they could be. You know, it's what happens most of the time. They can get there anywhere. The pro possibilities is never quitting here to make a more end full underway. Here's how he did with the total statistics. That's 71 percentage for the field goal for Boston Celtics. 53 pointers was given here for because of 13 out of 26 three pointers. That was the Sixers that took it all and the free throws was perfect because they have a lot of them to take. Fast break points was 12 and points in paint was 44 for Boston Celtics. Now this time second chance points and bench points got 7 and 17 for the Philadelphia 76ers. It was not the way that they all been looking at it, but you can definitely give that one good look. Then 36 assists was Boston Celtics. 10 for the offensive rebounds for Philadelphia 76ers. 23 defensive rebounds for Boston. With 6 steals, 5 blocks, and 1 turnover. That's just about it. 3 team fouls was Philadelphia 6ers. 4 dunks remain for Boston Celtics. 2 for Derek White. And one for, you all call, Jalen Brown. And there's a lot of them to take over in here, but, uh, hey, you never just really wanted to wait, waste your time out there with some dunks. Just keep on going. <laughs> yeah, that's totally true. I mean, I know that they did really well. Just make it feel so sort of surprised out there for somehow. <laughs> Every day, in moment of that game, can be like John Harder, man, you know. Then it was 25 biggest lead and time possession was 18.43. Now it's time for a New Balance player of the game. And this one will be underway here soon, but time for three stars of the game. Take it to you, Testu. All right, thank you so much. Time for the third star. Number three goes to Tyrese Maxey with 16 points. Seven assists had made that one pretty well and easy enough, but only had made five out of nine field goal range and two three-pointers was given here in the first and second half was four. Then it was 34 performances. That's how you finish things off here to start for game one. Now, let's go on to number two. This one keeps on coming. It goes to De Derek White with 12, 22 points, only one block, but three steals that made that one terrific. Three dunks performed, 30 performance effort, there was 10 out of 11 field goal range, 2-2 two and two for the 3-pointers, and 20 and 4 assists on that one. He was doing really well. Gotta go with the credit if you want to get that one done. And for your number one star, you know the name of it. I can call that one here, or what goes now? Jason Tatum. 35 points to a New Balance player to game, with 7 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal, 16 out of 20 field goals, 2-4 to 3-pointers, and only that, he did amazing. I mean, you should give this credit off here to Jason Tatum. He's been doing excellent. 43 performances. That's how you can handle that one to finish it off. And so that ends the part of tonight's game as we will be sending you down to mile high for the next part of the game as we will get this thing under-reviewed to go right in between from coast to coast of the line. It may not be anybody when you're looking for, but it's going to be what your chance is if Mile High or Golden State win that game. So that wraps it up here for in Boston Celtics. We'll say is have a great night in Boston. And we'll see you all later for the last game for Mile High and Golden State Warriors. Coming up after this, 9.30 p.m. sharp. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.